Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com coming to you on Sunday afternoon, a little after 4. After a weekend retreat with my wife, if we are back. I'm going to make this uh, video fairly short and sweet. Um, but we had some major developments in the market on Friday, so we definitely need to take a look. Um, but before we do so, I just need to remind you, as always, that the website and the video are for educational purposes only nothing stated that the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and you need to make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts so let's take a look. Okay we are looking at a 15 minute chart and you can see that uh, the S&P put in probably um, its best gaining day. Gee, it may even be the, I don't know, looks to me if we look at a daily chart, we don't have that big a green candle. Uh, maybe back in, in early June, but that was a really nice move for the bulls. And you can see there it is and I have made a new um, line on our chart that I just want to take a quick look at and I'll be honest with you to begin with as far as weekly review goes last week was a was a mess um, you know there wasn't a whole bunch that happened right uh, maybe a few things but I honest to goodness thought that when the market bounced on this um, line right here on Friday the 22nd and started to head up I tell you I thought that was meant that meant clear sailing and that we were going to be heading up into at least um, the 1370s without any necessary trip back down to the low 1300s the good news is we did get a very nice bounce um, at that blue line that if you'll recall is drawn over um, the 2000, I have to go to a three day chart here, drawn over the top of the 2007 high and the 2011 high because we can look at both of these highs as being pretty technically important. So once we got over this blue line we kind of uh, had the idea that that should serve as support it did not the first time it was tested it gave way but uh, we did get a solid bounce at a neckline of a previous inverted head and shoulders pattern now here's the deal uh, one of the, the subscribers at, uh, at sp500chart.com said you know Jim as much as this right here looks like an inverted head and shoulders pattern this looks like a possible regular head and shoulders pattern and that was absolutely a valid observation so I made the comment that this is kind of like a yin and yang thing going on here where this right shoulder of the inverted pattern could potentially be the left shoulder of a standard head and shoulders now, of course, that move on Friday called all of that into question as we are now reaching up with the S&P to challenge the high that was, uh, sp that was put in at the, uh, in the middle of uh, June. That high at about, it, let's call it 1363. Additionally, if you look at what happened for the last oh one two three four five six seven days you could also make the case that this is a rec kind of an irregular but a an inverse head and shoulders pattern nonetheless now the one thing I feel very good about about the past week is we identified this descending channel um, and I think we had this thing identified by the end of the 25th 
um, and and uh, or at least yeah I think we had it by the end of the 25th I said look for this channel right here if this breaks that would be a sign that the market looks like it's ready to move up and uh, lo and behold we got a break of that channel we did not have a full back test to this top line but we did have a pretty solid move down to what I would describe as essentially the breakout level. So, so we got a kind of an incomplete back test. Um, and then we had that big rally on Friday. Of course, what's important at this point is uh, what are we looking at now in the market? Well, I think we've got uh, a couple things that we can now start to consider with this new little inverted head and shoulders pattern here. And, and one of those things is this line should now help out with some support should the market come down to test this area. But something else happened on Friday that I think you need to, to uh, consider as well. And that is this green line right here. What is the green line? Well, hopefully I will, I will choose the, let's just go to a daily chart. No, I don't have to go to a day. I think I need to go to a two hour. Let's see if one hour does it. I, pardon me. Okay. We are taking a line off of the uh, high of this right shoulder. That is an important technical line. And the high that was set back here uh, at the 12, uh, excuse me, 1363 level, th that may be important. Um, so I'm thinking this green line also has a decent chance of providing us with some uh, support. Where are we expecting some resistance? Well, I would definitely expect some resistance to set in uh, probably at about this 1363 level. How severe that resistance resistance would be, I cannot tell you. But you know that was a that was a pretty swift move down from 1363 to 13. How low did it get? 1310. So there's a a, a decent chance that uh, that the, the market will encounter some selling pressure at that point. Additionally, if we back out on a 30 minute chart. We can see that we've had a, uh, a a series of highs now that are roughly. Let me make sure this line is really properly placed. We've got a few highs that are in place at this line right here. Come on, highlight for me. There you go. Okay, so. All, if we follow this line up, you can see that there are a number of reasons to expect resistance. And let's move this on out. But I think there's a lot of a potential resistance up in the 1390s. So did, would I expect the market to gap on up and, and continue that run on Monday? Um not really. <laughs> I mean, two and a half percent is a pretty big move in one day. I'm thinking that surely the market needs to take a breather, uh, maybe back test some support that was taken out, and then maybe head up for this level up here. But I'm thinking the 1390s at this point should give the market uh, 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 should give the market some pretty serious resistance. Another thing I want to show you is. When we came up out of this uh, uh, descending channel right here that we had talked about earlier in the week, um, I, n I mentioned that, that the market, uh, the S&P had made this really kind of a narrow little channel. I said, I don't think that, as a matter of fact, it was on the 27th. I said, I don't think that channel can hold for very long because it's very narrow and it just doesn't. I, I just don't expect the market to be able to to hold on to these really narrow uh, little channels because as it moves up, you know, there's got to be some kind of corrective move. So with that in mind, um, I, I I just kind of said I, this this 
channel probably will break. Now, here's what the surprising thing. It did break. It broke decisively. And then when the market rallied back on Friday, this son of a gun jumped right back into that channel where it found resistance at this top line right here. So, and as we look at this little inverted head and shoulders pattern that I told you about, it made its expected target in one day. So uh, since we are at this upper line, this inverted head and shoulders pattern has made its target. You know, guys, I just don't hold out a whole bunch. Um, and I may be wrong, but I don't hold out a whole bunch of hope that the market's going to have another big up day. I would rather expect the market to be be down moderately to sideways. And I think if we're down sideways that, um, that you know, we've got a pretty good sized uh, gap right here that um, I'm not a believer in gap filling. But once um, the market does encounter weakness, I am a believer in gap support. So I think we will have support down in the in the thir high 1320s should the S&P uh, violate this line again. And uh, and also if it does, if it decides to take out this green line, you remember this green line is uh, is a fairly um, I don't want to say what, what's the word I'm looking for. Well, there you see its genesis. I just don't know how how important that line will be but I think that we've got pretty good support right here in let's say in the middle of um, of July the week of the 16th we've got this little trough right here where I could easily see the market coming back to this level and um, and I think this black line right here should produce some pretty strong resistance because you can see we had a lot of shares that traded back in in the second week of May around this area that until um, the uh, until the the week of the 18th these folks were underwater and you can clearly see they took the opportunity to get out even and those who failed to do so may decide again let's just get out even for right now so Basically, what I'm saying is, come on, draw me. Well, it doesn't want to draw the, I don't know what is going on here. For some reason, I cannot, there's my circle. I think we've got res, strong resistance here. I think we've got expected resistance here, but that could be overcome. And I think we should have and these, this is kind of famous last words, but I think these, this green line, this uh, uh, light purple line here, I think we've got support in this area and possibly as low as the high 1320s, but, but certainly in the low 1330s. So guys, that's kind of it for today. Um, you know, when you have one of these big moves up like this, I, I think that that certainly is an interesting thing that takes place, but that kind of move usually begs for some kind of counter move. So don't be surprised if uh, if if we have a little initial strength to start Monday morning, and then see if this if this line acts as resistance. And if it doesn't, then I would expect this line up here would act as resistance. So really, all oh guys, as always, all I do is draw the lines. And you have to decide. You have to watch. And uh, if you're a subscriber, you know we've got the live chart to where I give a link to this very chart um, at the website, and you can watch uh, through the uh, Bats Exchange. You can you can watch the uh, minute by minute movement of uh, of the S and P. So uh, I would encourage you to to consider subscribing. It's less than a buck a day. And, uh, and you get to, to, to kind of follow these charts and, and see how well or how poorly, but for sure you get to see for yourself if technical, technical analysis of this type is, uh, is worth getting into. So look guys, thanks again for watching the video. Thank you if you're a subscriber. If you're not, just think about it. 
and uh, take care and good luck to you this week in the markets.